Jake Monroe. Now, Jake Monroe is usually known for his Goth Reacts to videos and uh, some gaming that he's done as well. He's had some gameplay channels in the past, and most of his stuff now is reaction videos. Jake Monroe was born in Northern Ireland, and he has a side gaming channel based on his main goth reacts and connected to that, which is not quite as popular, but his main thing is his goth reacts stuff. His ex-girlfriend is Kaya Lily. Now, this is where we get into something interesting that I've noticed while researching Jake. There is a lot of videos that are very angry at Jake. Now, I want to make a disclaimer as I go into why these people are angry at Jake and let you know that personally, I think Jake is a no kick guy. I don't have a problem with Jake. I think his videos are fine. I think his React videos are fine. I think he does a pretty good job with his makeup. It's it's kind of cool looking. Um, personally, I would never do it. <laughs> it's, it's just not my style. But um, he's obviously got a talent for applying it and trying out different goth styles. He has a goth band as well, which seems to be doing pretty well and starting to tour. But what I've seen that really kind of confused me recently was when I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers known as Goth Ma'am, which I think like a lot of people call her Goth Mama, but I'm pretty sure she's Goth Ma'am. She had done a video about a breakup between Kaya Lily and Jake. Uh, if you don't know, Kaya Lily is also another goth YouTuber. Most of her stuff is kind of everyday life things, but she does deal with some mental health stuff such as uh, having uh, anxiety or uh, I guess you would call it agoraphobia where it's like kind of scary to go outside. And I think that's kind of something we all deal with as far as anxiety is concerned. We all have it on a certain level and a lot of people do have videos and channels. I've even done it myself where we expose some of our weaknesses as far as mental health is concerned. There's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing. Jake, on the other hand, doesn't tend to really get into his own mental health or anything like that, which is also totally okay. And if that's not something you want to expose your audience to, it's fine. And if you don't want to get that personal, that is also okay. But these two broke up. And this happened, I want to say it's like nine months ago now that they broke up. It's been a while. But from what I understand, and please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, I'm totally okay with being wrong. But Kaya and Jake were together since high school. They've been dating for a very long time. Now, as far as I know, I don't think they were married yet. They may have been on a fian fiancé level when the relationship split up. But apparently from... Also, what I understand, it's the reason for breaking up was that Jake, his channel has now become very popular. He has a massive subscriber and follower amount. And Kaya, while she started out with more than Jake at the beginning, she's kind of stayed more within the range of a medium level YouTuber. Nothing wrong with that. And I think it's mostly for her that she kind of goes through spells where she needs to take a break from YouTube and kind of like do a mental health check and things like that. But she was gone for a very long time at one point. And when she came back, she let everyone know that her and Jake had split up. And this angered a lot of fans. This angered fans of Jake, actually. And I saw a lot of vitriol and a lot of anger from fans who called themselves ex-Jake Monroe fans. And goth ma'am, too, she also said she was no longer a fan of his because they had broken up, which... <sighs> I don't know. I'm kind of torn on this because there were some people who said that he had cheated on her and then broken up, but I have not found any proof of that. I've tried to look into this and research this quite a bit. It does not appear to me that he was cheating on her. I think this was a break because his channel was growing bigger and bigger and he was going on tour. And I think Kaya was not interested in going on tour with him but was more of a homebody, which I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm more of a homebody myself. So I kind of understand her situation more. I would never want to go on tour with a band. I have been in a band in the past and I have gone on tour and it is hell. I hate it. It was garbage. Um, so 
these are very, very different ways of life. Going on tour with a band, being out every night, speaking in front of a huge audience, going around the country, touring, having to talk to fans, subscribers, followers. It's a lot of mental stress and takes a lot of giving of yourself and exposing yourself to everybody out there. And I can completely understand and agree with Kaya that if you don't want to go on something like that, that's fine. Now, some people are really angry because this probably was the catalyst that caused them to split and go separate ways. On top of it, you know, other people have said it's because Jake's channel got so big that he didn't want anything to do with Kaya anymore. I don't know how much proof there is behind that. I think they just had diverging paths on the path of life. You know, it it forked into two different directions, one becoming more and more social and outgoing and one wanting to continue to stay more of a homebody. Now, anybody who's spoken out about Jake breaking up with Kaya has turned off the comments on their video. I have gone through six or seven different unique channels, not connected to each other, but all involved within like goth and goth music scene. And they have all turned off their comments. And it just makes me wonder, is this because the fans of Jake Monroe get like extremely upset if anybody talks negatively about them? Um, because I, I don't really... I can't support that. I don't think you should try to be an angry army for someone you love. Now, if something is being spread falsely, you're more than welcome to come to the channel and say, hey, look, this isn't true. Like, so for example, I said, some people accuse Jake of cheating. I personally have not found any proof of that. And I will not say that that's true. And if people are trying to put that out there and that is not true, then I understand the attack. Okay, I kind of understand it. I, I'm not saying you should be vicious troll-like and, you know, scourge people with a bunch of curse words but if you want to stick up for jake and say look there's no proof that he was cheating they simply had a split i can understand that okay but almost every channel that spoke out against jake usually the video was called like no longer a jake monroe fan no longer a fan of the goth jake monroe ex jake monroe fan all of them all of them have their comments turned off so this was very interesting to me. And the more I looked into it, the more I found that I think there's a very strong presence for Jake. I think that his fans are very into what he does. Um, but I also think there's a little too much aggressiveness as far as defending him for things he probably doesn't even need to defend himself for. If he wants to split, that's fine. Now, where people might be upset or might be making their ex Jake Monroe fan videos is the way the split happened. So when they did split up and go their separate ways, Kaya was booted from the house, I think. And now this house that they owned or apartment they owned or whatever they owned at the time, it wasn't Jake's name. And she had to go live at the place where she was filming her YouTube videos, which according to her was an abandoned Victorian house. Now, hmm, it, this part was weird to me because I, I don't know how the law works in Ireland where they're at um, or wherever they're at in the UK. Um, but you can't inhabit places and like just set up a computer and film in an abandoned house in America, you would get in trouble for squatting. Um, here in Japan, I know you definitely couldn't. It would just be impossible. I, I could kind of understand it in America because it's so wide and huge. And, you know, the, the chance of police coming out to an abandoned mansion in the middle of the forest or wherever this place is, it might not get detected. That's understandable. But she has like lights on and she has electricity to run her phone or computer or whatever she's recording on. So I, I'm just wondering what she means by abandoned. Like that, does she mean like it was abandoned and she had it refurbished so that it has common amenities? If so, then I, I'm a little bit confused again because she talks about how there's no heat in there and that the only place she has to lay down is the couch that she has there for her YouTube videos. So I'm a little bit confused by her situation, although I will admit I have not followed her channel religiously and uh, I don't totally know what her living situation is. I know she doesn't want to go back to her family. She said that would be like a horror scene if she had to go back to her parents. So I imagine her relationship to that is not very good or just she doesn't want to deal with 
I guess, moving back in, which, okay, I can understand that. I think after, you know, after I finished college, I couldn't have imagined moving back in with my parents. That would not be a grand idea. I love my parents. I just don't, I don't want to live in the house with them anymore. Um, so maybe that's all she's talking about. But it, it was strange in the sense that she said like he had just split with her and like left her nothing. But then later she talked about that he was giving her sort of a stipend, um, you know, giving her extra money from his channel, which was also a little bit confusing too, because she herself has her own channel, which it seems to get enough views and have enough subscribers to make a decent amount. Um, you know, she's, I don't know if she's running ads, maybe she doesn't have monetization turn on, in which case, yeah, she's not making anything, but she said it's her main source of income. So I imagine she's doing something to cause a YouTube channel to create a monetary device. But what exactly it is and how much she's making, I'm not sure. I'm not going to ask. That's not my business. But it was what she had mentioned as her main source of income. She also said that she had lost her source of income from YouTube. And she said it was turned off. I'm thinking what she means is if you do not update for six months, it automatically gets turned off and you have to reapply to become monetized again. So I'm guessing what she meant is that when she took a nine month break due to like mental health and I guess recovering from the breakup with Jake, that's why it was turned off, which <sighs> that's a very hard situation to talk about too, because I know some people want to blame Jake and say, oh, he took everything from her. He took away her money from her YouTube channel, destroyed her mental health and took away her source of income. <sighs> you know, the, she's more than right to feel upset or I guess belittled by the breakup. Apparently they were together for like ages. And if this has hit her really hard. I think that's pretty understandable. I think we've all gone through a bad breakup before where it like really hurts us for a long time. Um, you know, she's getting on to nine months. You know, I've seen people not get over a relationship for like five years before. I, I myself, I think the longest it took me one time to get over a relationship was almost a full year. So nine months is understandable. Now, at the same time, you do have to realize life goes on. And both of these people are around their 30s right now. So I think it's more than understood that they would take control and run their own life. So I don't know how much people can blame Jake for her not making money from her YouTube channel. And the fact that he is then paying her from his YouTube channel a certain stipend to survive after the breakup shows that he's not in any mood to like, you know, twist the knife any further after their breakup. He's actually there to help somewhat. So the hate that I'm seeing from people who are no longer a Jake Monroe fan, I, I'm guessing just maybe they were Kaya fans first and they can't imagine that these two would split separate ways. At the same time, we've got to realize our own personal views, emotions, and feelings about a breakup, you know, especially one amicable like this, doesn't really matter. It's between the couple and whatever issues they're having or whatever fights they're having behind the scene or whatever caused them to break up behind the scene, we'll never fully know unless they come out and tell us a full video. Neither one of these people have done that. Kaya has kind of made a video talking about her living situation afterwards, but it does seem like she's fixed everything up and she's back to living a good life. But even her video talking about when she did break up, it, it didn't seem like there was a lot of anger towards Jake. It didn't seem like he had done something to really hurt her. It seemed more like she was just very disappointed that everything had been called off as far as their relationship was concerned, which once again, it's totally okay. I understand. It makes sense. But what I would like to understand more, what I would like to learn about more, why is this rumor about Jake cheating coming up? Like, is there any proof behind that? Is there any source behind that? And at the same time, you know, it's, it's hard to step into a YouTuber's life and call them out for any sort of cheating situation uh, unless it's something like super devious. Like, you know, the only time where I feel like you should really bring it up is like, for example, the social repose situation where he just keeps doing it again and again and again. I think he's done it like six times now. Um, not all of them are listed on YouTube, but he doesn't seem to learn anything from it. Or the other situation I would say is a YouTuber who is married. That's gross too. Um, being married and then cheating on your wife, especially when you have kids, 
Yeah, that that's not cool. I can't really defend that and could totally understand why people would be like, no longer a fan of this person. But for them, I, they weren't even married. They didn't have any kids. They had just been together for a very long time. And if that's all that's upsetting people, I got to say it's it's time to take a step back and just let these two you know, go their separate ways. And you can still enjoy both of them. I don't really see a problem with either one. But at the same time, you know, please let me know in the comments below if there's any extra info I can find out about this situation, why are people are so angry, but also why people who then are angry about Jake Monroe have to turn off their comments and won't allow anybody to comment on this. I've tried to talk to goth ma'am or goth mama or whatever people want to call her. In the past, I haven't gotten any response. Uh, I imagine she's just very busy, that's all. Or <laughs> maybe I'm just too small of a channel. That's fine. That's fine too. I'm not, you know, I'm not angry or belittling her because of that. That's I, Some people just don't talk to other YouTubers and that's totally okay too. But I would like to learn more about this situation because it's just very odd to me once I followed a trail of how angry both sides were and how some people who were angry at Jake had to turn off their comments and how people were still uh, very angry at anybody who talked badly about Jake and how his fans would hunt them down and I guess troll them until they would turn the comments off. That's that's a very unique situation. I've never seen someone be so angry that they would do that. So let me know in the comments below if you know anything extra about this. It would be very interesting to know. I'd love to research it more and maybe I can do some sort of follow-up or update to this situation. Until next time, I've been the Inksmith and I hope you have a great rest of the day.